Welcome everybody. It's good to be back here in Master Duel Masochist. And let's be honest. I I am terrified because I have heard so many things about Welcome the, everybody. Uh, it's good to be back here in Master What are they? The Tenpai they're called? Personally, I'm scared. Because I have a very big issue with dragons. Because of all the blue eyes players over the over the months. But yeah, we are going to. Ooh, ah. Uh... You know what? Let, let's spoil ourselves a little bit. You can't beat them, play them. It's just a box. Okay. Dengen Kaiho. And Sangan can't work in that deck, unfortunately. Okay, do we have any legacy packs? Oh, we did not. So we don't get to start the stream. But, here's an idea. As I get my... four board up. Alright, we are currently sitting comfortably at 234 wins, 554 losses. I would say pretty good, could be better. But, here's the idea. I know we have the mercy rule, but here's the idea. We've got these limited bundles, so here's what I'm thinking. With the addition of Ghost Bell, who is... I can't read that card text. Can I pull a zoom in on that? No. We could use it. Well, okay, here's the problem. We have the rule thing that we're not allowed to get. Well, these aren't limited availability. They're limited to one per player, but I feel like pulling these is a little cheating. So, maybe not. We did that last time because it was a limited availability thing, and... Hello. Oh. I'm not going to enjoy that. Under any circumstances. Just saying. Also, I don't remember if we made any ch our deck. Uh, I don't think we did. But we did pull another Gladiator Beast, so Gladiator Beasts are slowly becoming an option. I mean, we've only got four, five and an extra deck one, but... On the plus side, it is a level 5 or higher, so we could, in theory, actually summon Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor now, if we decide to run Gladiator Beasts as a actual deck. Oh wait, we have 6. I forgot about La Quarry down here. But that is an idea in the future, if we've ever pull any more support for them. It's very janky, but not impossible. Let's get right on into the duels. Hope everybody has having a good day. You know what? I think I need to switch. Oop, there we go. Just switch to my self. Now we are we have been working like over the weekend, we were supposed to be working on stuff, but unfortunately I didn't work on a major project and instead spent working on something for our dreams. I forgot to mention that we... Oops. I just remembered we were supposed to do another Gumpla stream, but that didn't happen. I guess we can do a surprise stream over the weekend. Not the best starting hand... You're basically at the mercy of what happens. Not the best going first hand, but not terrible. Wonder I'm gonna have to keep a counter how many tempies we've seen this stream. We'll probably make this stream a little shorter. Maybe I don't know. Because last Friday we did our Dumpla build stream and we're working we started working on new. Okay, pendulums. 
It's not bad. I was told that putting Drumarella in our extra deck, or our main deck, which we have been using some Performa Pals, and they've worked out pretty well, because we had one duel where we completely popped off with our Pendulum support. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm sorry. Dark Magician is not a Pendulum, although it wouldn't surprise me if they made one. We're going to try and stay positive this stream. We've got two copies of Harmonizing Magician, but we can't really use her. And we have a Odd Eyes Pendulum. Unfortunately, it's the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, which doesn't really help us all that much. Albeit, it's stronger than the regular Arc uh, Odd Eyes, but it could be better. Alright, so what are you pulling? Alright, who are you pulling up to play? They pulled that illusion of chaos. You have a card in your hand. Got a dark magician. Non ritual monster. That doesn't look good. I'm surprised nobody, with even all the new support, nobody plays the dark cards. Nobody does. I'm gonna say no to that. Just burn you in the face. Now you can only pendle one monster. If we could actually use both extra monster zones, that would be great for us. Then we could lock out pendulum players, but the odds of that happening are very low right now. And there's Tamias. I've already stated my thoughts on that card. This feels unfair that Tamias here got a card version, but the other two didn't. Because Critias could be used to search traps, and Paramos could be used to search monsters. Oh, you had to go with the Glossy. Oh yeah, that's really, uh... That's really fair. Cannot attack, and its effects, if any, are negated. Gonna ditch the bird man. Alright, now what's the deal about the idiotically created magia? Must be fusion summoned. You really think you're the only one who can fusion summon? Dark Spellcaster is attacked. Send the top card of their deck to the grave. There's another obnoxious card. Now, unfortunately, we don't really have an option for using Nami and our uh, Unchained Soul in the same turn. Also, Simo kind of... I feel like Simo broke the rules a little bit. Of his Masochist rule, because he crafted his... Uh, he tried to get a glossy Bear Grum, and I'm like, dude, you broke the rules, you can't craft cards. But, but oh, he... I'm not against the guy, but it's like, stand by your own rules, please. Fortunately, we don't have a Reptile Monster in the Graveyard. I was going to probably bring back the big guy, Super Shiny. I guess I would call that the Super Shiny Magician. I don't know. He's going to activate that to add a card that mentions Dream King Z-Arc. Z-Arc. Probably back row. Yep, that card. How many of these does he have? Fusion some fusion monster from your extra deck, including a spellcaster. Well, he's got a spellcaster. Give you a spellcaster monster with 2,500 original attack. Hmm. You already pendulum summoned. We 
taking a gamble here. So you are level 7, not level 8. Now we're going to discard this, pop that. We gotta play a little smart here. Because his trap card can't do anything, since he doesn't have a monster that meets the requirements. We're going to discard our chubby snake. We love that little snake. Hmm, that's a problem. We haven't used our normal summon yet. Giving the attack boost. Reach face up. Destroy that. All monsters you can. That's just a 200 boost. Nope, 100 boost. Build the top card of their deck. Okay, we can't use Nightmare Phoenix. Guess we're at the mercy of whatever they play next. That's two monsters in the extra deck. If they bring it back... Well, they'll activate the... Uh, I think we may fail here. Because they're just going to be able to activate their trap card now. Now they're going to bring out Zark, possibly. Unfortunately, our deck is lacking draw power if we don't have enough pendulums to draw from our Performa Pal engines. I wouldn't even call it an engine. Yeah, just banish them from the deck and bring out the real Zark. Destroy all cards that your opponent controls. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this with card effects. So we basically lose... And that's game. I didn't realize our health was so low. Eh, well. You live and you learn. Just the way the pendulum swings! Oh well, we got close. I mean, if we actually had our Eater of Millions in hand, then we could have 100% destroyed them. Because then we would have banished their, uh... Their, uh... Pendulums. I may just edit this on the YouTube side, just clear out some bits of video feed. I don't know. Maybe give that a shot. But we will be having a end of the poll stream, a bit at the end of the poll today. Well, we got our Aperia and some draw power. Now, if we can actually draw a guitar turtle, I'm gonna call it guitar turtle or guitar turtle. If we can draw that, then we're golden. That is a lot of back row, a lot of back row. Well, we know they don't have hand traps, but they probably got imperm. Clearly, this is probably lab trap trick. Both have been the bane of my existence for a while. I don't I don't think we've only beaten Lab once. I don't remember how. I think we got really lucky. 
Anytime now. I mean, we are still in gold. But, eh. That's just how it is. Oh, Paleos. Gains 500 attack and defense. That is gross. Like, I'm sorry. That, that's gross looking. Back in the face. Are you just a trap spam deck? No. little bit of a predicament. Now, if we went ahead with the Ogdawatic or the Firehand, we may have been in a better situation, but at least we have our Kaiju. Is there a Reptile Kaiju by any chance? No, I don't think so. If they actually made the other Kaiju monsters, that wouldn't be bad. Laundry. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that because I know what that does. They're probably going to use it to go into sprites. Like, the second you see level 2's pop up, it's a sprite deck. Because Paleozoic Sprite was a thing at one point, along with Melfi's. I'm, but I'm sorry, the second you start putting sprite cards in, it's no longer what you first said it was. It's a sprite. It's a pure sprite deck with other cards splashed in. Just the way it works. Same with Cash Tira. Kind of sad that Cash Tira is literally the redo of Zodiac, but Konami won't admit it when that's all it is. I mean, they're powerful, but really annoying, and just like Zodiac, you could splash them into anything. Only difference is, they're even stronger. Especially since you can go into a Rise Heart off of just one, but that's just the way it is. Didn't they limit skill drain, or did they ban it? And sprite? You want a sprite cranberry? No, Paleozoic. Well, I'll be damned. You can activate Paleozoic traps from your hand. Add a Paleozoic from deck to hand. I am intrigued by the Paleos. Another Eldonia. I was about to say Echidna. Oh, they got all three on the starting hand. Well, I'll be. Lucky them. Gains 500 attack and defense until the end of the turn. So it's at 1,000. Fortunately, we don't have many normal traps, so boo-boo gain is a little bit of a boo-boo on us. You wanna play a game? Would you like to play a game, boo-boo? Oh, God. Ugh. Jigsaw Yogi, that'd be terrifying. Target when spell a trap card on the field, destroy it. Oh, wait. Actually, this doesn't really help us, because <laughs> we don't have any normal traps. Lost Wind? What are you doing? Are you just spamming traps to activate? I'm very confused at your decisions right now. You got Chain Link 4, not bad. I think we've gotten to Chain Link 5 or 6-1. Now they're probably going to link away. I'm just waiting for a sprite to come out. Well, that's a 3400 wall. Hot dang, that's a big boy. Phantom Knights. Haven't seen that in a while. Gate its effects. Don't know why. Why would you do that? It had 500. There wasn't much you could have done outside of it. You didn't have to waste that. But his attack boosts are gone. You're awfully low.
Needless to say, you have me very intrigued. Why won't you let me draw? My game just freeze? What the hell's happening? Did it actually freeze? I'm guessing. What is going on? Am I getting... What is happening here? Okay, that was weird. Like, I'm not getting any stream issues, so is it a game issue? Doesn't have a Phantom Knight card. Its effects are negated, so it can't even activate its effects. So we're forced to attack it. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we got that. Health back, and... God damn it! Shit me! I'm just hitting every wrong button. That whole yeah, glitch there has got me messed up. It's got my brain all fried. I also like how the Fiendish Chain is still... They really need to fix this to where if the monster leaves the field, it's gone... Dude, you could have attacked. Why didn't you activate an attack? You have lost me, sir. Alright, we got our monkey board. I think we misplayed that horribly. Yes, we did. Crap, dang it. We're just misplaying everything today. I mean, yeah, it's a Monday and we screwed up our sleep schedule so bad, I don't know how I'm going to function at work, but hey. That's, that's, a, that's a problem for tonight. I mean, they could have gotten over our Flogos, like, without any issues. I think it's better if we keep this the way. They activate a trap and it destroys our hand, then our fire hand. Got it. I'm actually following a guy. Changes face down defense position. Okay. We're gonna pop that, which banishes it. Dead. Flip this back up. And we'll overlay these, play it safe, going into Baguska. Lost Wind would be a very good card for us. This is actually a very good rare and staple. But... You should have activated the trap first. You have the trap card. I'm sorry. And even if you activate it next turn, after we switch it to attack position, you can't target it. Now we're both misplaying. Wait, is this a bot? Or a masochist? If they're a masochist, then I, I applaud them for pulling so many Paleozoic cards. 
sprite. Nope. Although using a Link monster, well played. But you can't destroy our monster though. You're literally just shy of the mark here. Unless you link climb like that. Oh, okay. Bravo. I did not see that coming. That's actually, for a normal, that would be a really good card for us. Like, really good. And our queen to the grave at Logos. Get rid of that. Unfortunately, we are... Fortunately, having our back to the wall here. If we can just draw Kitardle, if I didn't use... Monkey board like an idiot, I would have had a better hand. Remember to read, kids. Remember to read your cards. Like, for the love of crap, read your cards. Alright, they've got another Paleo Trap. That is a really bad thing to do if we do that, because unfortunately it needs in to work in tandem with our queen, which we can't use. We're just setting in passing. They're probably going to activate that trap card as another Paleo spawn. And how many Paleos do they have in the grave still? They got one, three, four. Now they can chain summon, activating all three, I think. Because we did use Paleos a little bit when we started this year. Which were not bad if you're running a lab deck. Like if you get Labyrinths, trap support, then yeah, you're good to go. Like, especially good for link climbing. Like, that's a godsend. Throwing some Eldritch and whoo, doggy. IAS is I A shit. Oh my god, that actually works. May have bitten off more than we could chew here. Fortunately, if they link off, then we can't use Floodgate. Or back row. This is a problem. But we will be taking less damage, though. We can survive... Two attack, two turn, three turns if they don't summon anything. But the second they activate a card, then we're game over. Or if we activate one. Once per chain. So they could special summon all three from the grave. Yep. Ooh, that's a good. We could use that. We could really use that one. Draw two cards. Maybe Paleos in a water deck wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Now, I think that's game for us. Why would you do that? You could have summoned all three! Why 
Why are you activating so many traps when you could have just summoned all of them? That's 52. We just won a what? You could have gone for game! And Sprite. Oh, more Paleos. Well, at least we can use this. And it's no longer the battle phase. Unfortunately, Xyz monsters prevent the banish when leave the field effect. So that's a 2400 wall. You may need to start running some uh, true Dracos or Draco Slayers because of the fiendish chain. Well, that's game, actually. Our fire hands in the grave, that's uh, kind of a loss, but eh, we tried. We just can't beat the Paleo spam, fortunately. But a Jinzo would have been a godsend on this. Well, now we can't attack anything but that. Means we'll take a thousand damage. And we already used our normal summon. That that's game. But we might as well go down fighting. I don't know why you would have us target that. You could have had us attack the other one. What is wrong with this bot or this player? Why are they thinking so badly? But why not have us target the Radian? They've lost me here. Like, it's more damage and it would have been game. That seems a little broken. All water, level 2 aquas. It didn't make a difference. Well, now we got our big guy, and that can't be flipped face up. We may be in this still. That card, that Wetlands card, that's egregiously specific. And they gain 1200 attack. That's like purely made for Paleos, nothing else. But it's so specific. Aqua, water attribute, level 2s, or lowers. Link 3, ELS. But, card. Yep. The fact that they drew that one so late is kind of hilarious. This is why I want a Jinto really badly. Because it'd be hilarious for situations like this. But that's just the way the card game plays. Can't win them all, might as well try. Unfortunately, our deck being Reptile Focus doesn't have much synergy to it, but we're getting better. Oh, they had a Time Lord, too. I think we do have a Time Lord, which would have been great for this match, but it's not the best one. Yeah, let's get that out of here. I don't 
know if we have any more glacial beasts. That took forever. I'm not jinxing it with the title of the stream or video because I'm just going to uh, have it magically appear. It's like the whole Beetlejuice. But worse. I kind of want to get back into League of Legends a little bit. But I don't know how much storage space it's going to take up with the updating all the way from January. That's why, but there's an event going on. I'm like, I know! And we've got our two-year anniversary on YouTube coming up at the end of this. Which we have a project. Oh, hello, Ball Drake. You could have been used last game. I'm half, I've got half a mind to remove Ball Drake. Alright, some Lamia. Get Ash Blossomed. Nope, no Ash Blossom or Imperm. That's the best we can do, I'm afraid. Ah, Jesus, that just scared the crap out of me. Booty478, thanks for following. Good to see you this morning. How are you doing? That literally just made me jump. Getting jump scared by my own notifications. Oh, well, that's not great. That's good. Uh, we're pretty good. So far, we haven't seen what the title stream is so far, and I'd like to keep it that way, if I'm honest. That would be very good with a draw engine. Uh, we've lost two games so far. Uh, we lost a really long stallout match against a Paleo Spammer. I would have loved to have a Jinzo. Uh, no, I'm afraid this isn't a viewer duel stream. This is just a fail climb stream, right? I'm sure you can find some other duelists. Uh, we know of one who plays on viewer duels on Wednesdays. Ooh, that's a card I want. You know a duelist. Uh, no Fox were given. She does viewer duels on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Or whenever she goes live. I don't know her time zone. Usually it's 2 when I, where I'm at, but eh. Each their own. We're gonna activate this and this. Uh, it's about eight eight thirty for us. Yes, it is a good morning. We hope. I mean, I, I screwed up my sleep schedule throughout the weekend again. Oh, it's 3.38, so you're about five hours behind or ahead. OM. Yeah, we got a new time zone. OM. PM. Okay, so you're ahead of us. So you're probably on the eastern side. I want to think Europe. I could be wrong, because we had a guy from Germany in the past in one of our streams. They were fun to chat with. You're in war. That... I don't know how to respond to that. I really don't. Wait, how do you respond to that? You're in war. Not a war, just war. Oh. I've got a guess. Though I could be very wrong. I don't keep up with the news because that does not work well for my anxiety. Like, at all.
Because I know crazy shit's been happening in Brazil. Down in South America. Again, I don't keep up with the news. It's to keep my positivity up due to anxiety and depression. Add our Nami. Activate Nyami. I mean, I know war is bad and all. I just hope things look up, look get better. I guess that's the one thing we all can hope for. Like, coming on to a Twitch stream, watch people doing stupid stuff, it helps brighten your day, you know? Because everybody deserves a chance to have a good day, you know? Some people may be less than others, but I'm not one to judge. I think we'll hold on to the Baldrake the second they put a Dark Magician at the grave. hold on to it, because the second they activate that Eternal Soul, it might be GG. Well, that's a problem. I think I just screwed up. I would quit too if they feed me 10 pie. I'm not saying it! I'm not saying it! You almost got me! Uh, Moody, Emmy, Ya. Yeah. Unfortunately, there is a Tenpei archetype that has been circling the meta. Unfortunately, it's become a new top zero, tier zero staple or something. It's a heavy dragon induced dragon thought archetype. Which basically means get your dragon capture jars. Because that's going to be a ball leak. Alright, take out this Dark Magician. Because I am sick of looking at them every time. It's basically Konami found Trident Dragion from our, from the 5Ds era, and said, you know what, let's retrain them with some Chinese influence. I totally forgot about this. Oops. That's the problem. People play this so little in anything that I totally forgot it was a card. You downloaded this game two days ago. You picked... Then I'm sorry to say, you picked a really bad time to start. Because we're still coming off of one meta that was obnoxious to deal with. Only to just come into another meta that's just as annoying. It's basically, if you can't set a Mirror Force or an Anti-Attack Track card on your first turn, if you go first, you're dead. Or like I may be, because I forgot about Piercing the Darkness. I love Piercing the Darkness in my magic -y deck, but because so few people use it, it rarely, rarely ever gets played. And now they can't be targeted by card effect because Dark Mag... Alright, I'm not going to complain about Dark Magician. People have heard me complain about these assholes way too many times. Eh? What are they up to? Alright, they've got Dark Magic Attack, which can destroy all spells and traps. That's not an issue. The issue is that this archetype in question we're discussing has been very annoying. Well, see, that's the problem, because our Baldrick is not that strong. The plan is to use Dark Magician, is to wait for Dark Magician to go into the graveyard and then banish it. That way they can't access it again. 
because they'll just send it to the grave and then special summon it back with Eternal Soul. We've done this tango a hundred times by now. Unfortunately, though, we can't win either way because they'll just activate Piercing the Darkness, which will double its attack. So we've automatically lost because of this one spell card that people rarely ever use. This person is different because they thought about it. Because it doubles the attack. An opponent's monster and a monster that's a level 5 or higher than normal monster. We've lost automatically. Aldrake wouldn't really help us here. Observe. Because it's a level 5 or higher normal monster, because this is what happened where we screwed up in attacking because we forgot about the card. Know what it does, and we forgot about it, so we've lost because of it. But you live and you learn. And since all of them are level 7s, level 5 or higher's, as normal monsters, they didn't activate it. Probably because they didn't need to. And even if they did want to use it, we would have taken way more damage. We just got some bad RNG is all. Unfortunately, with our deck being reptile focused, because we don't have that many good boss monsters, and even if we used Baguska, that wouldn't have helped us. Just the way it is sometimes. Can't win them all, but you can still try. Plus, Dark Magician gets a lot of support. Which does make the whole favoritism thing a bit on the BS side. I forgot to equip our school field. Again, they've got... W Dark Magician has a lot of synergy with itself. It's a strong deck, but very predictable. Where Piercing the Darkness, as strong as it is, people will not see it coming. I mean, I run it in my magic keys because I like my magic key deck. Plus, add in that card's battle protection with the effect protection of magic key world and clavic keys could probably deck some people on their own. I would like to pull some magic key support or some more fur hires or melfies, but... The game is really focused on getting us to do pendulum or water attribute decks. Gain life points equal to that pack of that monster. Each time they normal or special summon. Okay. Temple of the Kings? Mystical Beast Circuit. Cannot target with monster, monster zones with card effects. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, so... That means is gains a thousand a trap for each continuous trap in the grave, which is none. That'll reflect slime, which will go into God Slime. Unfortunately, we have an out to all of this, but we don't have it because it specifically needs a non-tuner non -tuner water monster. Which is a problem.
And we can't exceed without using Birdman. Draw two. Banish that. That's a fire attribute, that's a water attribute, that's not really going to help us all that much. How'd you get there? Oh yeah, we had to discard. Okay, the problem here... That changes attack, which doesn't really help us. Raya is down. Take away them. Discard our queen. Pop that, so they can't go into the god slime. And they can't use the effect to draw two. Alright, so it all depends now on their normal sum. We're actually playing smart for once. Because I don't like sacred beasts. Or Egyptian gods. Your opponent cannot attack based up attack position monsters with zero attack. Thankfully, we have an out for that. Ironically. But so we're literally using a card for its not intended purpose, but we're making it work. Hello? Yeah, really good against any blue eyes or galaxy eyes deck. An Egyptian. Egyptian. I mean, they're not bad. Could be better. The whole divine attribute thing does make them a bit annoying. Yeah, it's fine. We look like we're literate. I mean, we don't brain so good sometimes either. Totally fine. I mean, most Yu-Gi-Oh players can't read, so... And I'm one of them! Oh, holy crap, we made so many bad plays two games ago. It was so annoying. Yeah, rule number one. Make sure you read your cards in any card game. Ever. During your standby phase. Alright, so that's wasted. I think this might be game. Thirty-eight, forty-eight. Activate. Banish our little snake. I mean, the Egyptian gods do have support, but I feel like it's more orientated towards Ra. Because he's like the big poster boy. Obelisk, if you're running a Melfi deck, it's like, oh yeah, we summon these adorable little animals that wouldn't hurt a fly. They just want to be cuddled. Here's a god. Here's a god. Here's a 4,000 attack and defense god who's about to curb stomp your crap. But like you're playing against a deck of cute, adorable animals, and then they summon a god. Like, that's the oh shit the bed moment. What are you? Dragon Seeker. This is an old school card. This card is normal summon, destroy face up dragon type on the field. 
Okay, good effect, but level 6, not the best. Be great against the you-know-whats, but eh. Alright, so since we won, we got a legacy pack. We didn't get a legacy pack. Son of a gun. But we get one master pack. Due to Masochist rules. And we win. Okay, we may have an ultra rare. Is it ultra rare or ultimate rare? We don't know. Oh, there it is. There it is. Fingers crossed. Alright, what do we get? We get a snowman creator. Uh, create a number of ice counters equal to the number of water monsters you control. Um, water machine? Uh, okay. Kind of clunky. Worm call. When it controls a monster, you control no monsters. You can special waste a worm from your hand. We do have some worm monsters, but... Kind of janky. Infinite tracks. Okay. Not bad. Sargasso. Another red ra you have a level 8 or higher synchro monster. How to get more gems or whatever they're called. How Are you asking how do you get them? You just simply complete the missions. That's all you gotta do. But you go into the missions tab and then you can get more gems. Or play through the solo mode which will also get you gems. Basically just play the game. Play however you want but do not surrender. There's an auto, there's a surrender button. If you're farming missions, do not... You have to play rank To do the uh, missions, you have to do it in ranked, though it doesn't say it anymore. They still have it coded to where you have to do it in ranked mode. Unless the mission says solo mode. That's like a chimera. Oh my lord! Little Debbie, little Debbie, I'm a coming on a home, baby. This is probably one of the dumbest cards we could have pulled. And we can actually use this. Send this card from hand to graveyard, add a bestial monster from deck to hand. Except bestial Lubellion. Place a branded continuous spell or trap. <sighs> Ooh, this is a good pull. This is a good pull. All it takes is one good pull to turn a deck around. That's all it takes. Yeah, all you gotta do, like, uh, let's see our missions here. It says here we need to activate a spell card, normal summon a monster, and destroy a card. Or special summon a monster. Get rid of some of these. You need to do them in ranked mode. Solo mode? If it says... Duel in so play solo mode, then you just do three missions in solo mode. That's it. But they used to say do it in a rank in ranked duels, but since they changed it, they changed the wording, but you still have to do it in ranked. Casual mode, you get nothing. If you do any missions in casual mode, you get zero you get nothing. And if you forfeit, you get no progress. Uh, if you know you're going to lose, just run yourself into an opponent's monster. That way you get you still get the pass, but you still end it faster, because I've lost so many dual pass experience and missions by not doing that. Alright, let's throw that Lubelli on. going to favorite that. And Red Rain. If you control a level 8 or higher Synchro Monster. Okay, do we have a level 8 Synchros? Yes. And only two of them are Dragons. Silent Apothesis. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Yeah, you just missed a great moment. We pulled... We pulled not only a Red Rain, but we... Just pulled a bestial Lubellion. We just pulled it. It's a good pack. But how are you doing today? Like, that just boosted my mood entirely. I think we may have to change the deck a little bit. I may take out the Boo Boo game. And maybe... Well, maybe not. Because that does work with our, uh... May... 
See, this is the hard part. When you need, you want to keep your deck as close to 40 cards as possible, but with so many cards to choose from, it's really difficult, especially as a masochist, because then you're at the mercy of luck on whatever you pull. I mean, technically, this here, Gleef the Phantom Bird, when we started, we got him when we started, and for the longest time, he was our only removal for spell and trap cards. You need to win five times in solo, and you get a lot of gems. Okay, that's that's not too hard, because they give you decks to loan, or you can build a deck yourself, or spend 500 gems. You got finished yelling at a branded player because they didn't understand and were raging at why they got negated through branded lost. Also, those are some pretty good pulls. Have the games been going well? No. No. I mean, we just beat a Sacred Beast player because we kind of screwed them over. We got smart. We played smart for once. Which was surprising, knowing us. Also got to adjust the scoreboard right quick. Which puts... And that win puts us at 235 wins to 457 losses. Not bad. I may take out Gungnir and just put in another card. I don't know. Our deck is very reptile focused, which should put a red flag on a lot because reptiles as an archetype are pretty bad. Yes, I agree. Moon Mirror Shield is a very good pull for a lot of reasons. I think I've fought this player before. I mean, we lost earlier to a person spamming Paleozoics. And then they pull out a Draco Berserker, a Berserker of the Tenyi, I think. It was the Link 3, 3,000 attack, Ganondorf-looking Mother Trucker, but... I'm getting a Deja Vu moment. I feel like I've been in this exact situation before. Well, that is true, you have a good point. Rika, Ragnarika are a good archetype. Well, there's your branded player. Or Sword Soul. It's probably Sword Soul. Yep, Sword Soul. Yes, Ragnarika is literally just an insect, plant, and reptile version of Tri-Brigade. I mean, if you have Bear Grum, like Simo, then it's a godsend. Because his that whole thing relies on plants and insects. And we have a few, but unfortunately, there's not enough reptiles in the deck, in that archetype, to help us. I mean, the most use we got was this. Agard Lizardos, which I was glad we pulled. Just because it has a draw effect, and if we banish a monster, it's an attack drop, a banish, and a draw one. But all in all, it's a good card, but it's still not that strong. I was hoping for a Link 2, it would have more than a thousand attack, but it only has 800. Here we go into Barry de Fuhrer. Here's Barry! Which will never be banned because this archetype is a deck. Let's see if we can actually beat them. We've beaten Sword Soul once. Can we do it again? Ow. But how many players are you going to see asking for reptile support? Who pulled Evil Seed, Beetle, the Reptile, I forgot the name. And the Rika Link one, which was pretty insane. Well, they got something going for them. I mean, running. I like the Masochist v. Masochist matchups. Those are some of the most entertaining you'll find, because you never know what's going to come out of the deck. Alright, are you going to Ash Blossom or Barry? Barry with the Negates. Okay, nope. Sword Soul in the gate. This was probably a better going second hand, going first hand. Because then we could just activate the Void Trap Hole and get rid of Barry. Like, I would love to see this son of a bitch banned. I would love to see it, but, like in the TCG, but here, since Master Duel uses a mixture of the Japanese and... Uses a combination of both OCG and TCG, it won't. I don't have a Mascus deck of my own, but I usually just use NR decks of a very nice variety again. That is also true. Which, 
I believe, a streamer I follow and support. We support each other. Uh, she is having a N and a N slash R only tournament very soon this week uh, with a streamer named Hasher Brown, I think. Hmm. We're probably gonna lose here, unless they're pretty far into masochist, like around plat. Then they'll use my. Oh, you, you'll use your weaker, but actually built depths. That is true. I mean, I usually aim for plat every month. Because that's usually as far as I can get. That's a good card. Once while face up on the field. Activate. Like budget Predaplants. plants. That's not bad. Alright, so their negate is used up. Bet you. But you in the pendulum scale, because if we don't get anything good, then we're kind of out of luck. And what do we get? Ash Blossomed. Yep. I would love to see Ash Blossom and the Hand Traps get limited to one copy, but that's probably never going to happen because of meta. Like, the anthology event this game had in the past where all the hand traps were banned was a really good time. Until they decided to throw in a deck for Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, and quote-unquote Dark Magician. We're gonna do this. Probably get negated. Nope. And an Imperm, a Max C, a Lightning Storm, a Nibiru, they had everything. Like, this is a meta, a meta slut. It doesn't have Super Poly or anything, but it has Trifee and Dragostapaleo, which is kind of all it needs. That is a good point, yeah. But you gotta find what works. I mean, we tried to build a fusion deck, which they actually be pretty good nowadays. Because we've got Masquerade... Which is not bad. The way I see it, you need to find a boss monster and build your deck around it. Kind of like how it was in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Or just try and build a main character deck. Although I would very much like to not build a main character anime deck, because that feels like... I don't want to say simping, but feels like taking an easy road. Wait, hold up. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, there's a blue eyes. Now, I'll admit to whoever brought up Makanko earlier, I will agree I will say they are assholes. 100% asshole. Like borderline unfair. Same with you, Bell. It's fun seeing different masochist decks and what their boss monsters are. Yes, exactly. Ran into somebody a day or two ago that had a Toon Ancient Gear Golem. I'll admit, I would not expect that. Though so you could use that in Ancient Gears or, uh, Toons. And you could go either way. Toon Monsters, though, is never a bad thing. Oh, we got an Exodia player. With Ashtira. Level 3 or lower normal monsters. After that, shuffle the rest back into the deck. Okay, I'm very confused. Pretty decent 3k beater that doesn't care about traps. That is true. That is true. I think we have an Ancient Gear Golem and a machine deck that's in the works on this account. Because we got several decks that we're working on. Hmm.
Back. Oh, you're a cheeky little bastard. Down the retreat! Alright, this person's got me intrigued on what they're trying to pull. You know what, we'll add... No, we'll hold off on the moon mirrors. I think we do have a Drago Stapelia. I mean, our first pack, we actually, when we started this challenge, our first booster pack, or master pack, gave us a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. And we could not summon him for the life of us. How about no? Okay, unaffected by other cards' effects. I mean, they are booster packs. But unfortunately, as a masochist player, we can only use masochist packs. Alright, so they don't have all five pieces. Well, that's good. Shame so many of us don't love the game. They're Cash Tira Exodia. Are they actually going to Exodia, Exodia us? Yeah, they probably will. Nope, they can't. Hey, we win! What were they running? They could they didn't have all five pieces. They got close. They got close. What are you, Pixie Knight? Okay. Since the graveyard result of battle, your opponent selects one spell card from your graveyard and places that on top of the deck. Let's see what they were running. All five Exodias. Legendary Exodia Incarnate. United Resistance. People running about. How many times are you ever going to see these? I would have gone with Melfi Ravi, but that's just personal bias. Dark Doriado. Magical Mallet. Sacred Sword of Seven. Yeah, they're definitely a Exodia deck. Using Cash Tira as a backup plan. And Yubel. For some reason. I think they tried to go full anime character on that. But hey! Good luck to them. But if you can actually, if you see an Exodia, the thing is with Exodia, as legendary as it is, if you see one Exodia piece, can't wait for the free shit, I assume, on Tuesday. Free shit. Free shit from what? In either player's turn, you contribute a card. Oh, that's not good. One sec. Okay, we should hopefully be back. I don't know why the internet is being a bitch, but I have one guess. Because stupid streaming services. That wasn't the best legacy pack. This tends to happen. All right. One master pack. So we beat Blue Eye. Not Blue Eye. I wish we beat Blue Eye today, but eh. That tends to happen. Sub Terror. Oh, there's your uh, Predator Plant. You willed it into existence. Oja Muscle. Machina. Aye! Mm. Kind of a mixed bag. Junk Changer. Yes. Yeah, it's good to be back, isn't it? And we got a fur hire. Yes! Another fur hire. It's not Folgo or Donna, but... I don't care. Perform Hell Trump Witch. Ooh! This is good. This is good for fusion support. And Dark Spirit Art Greed. 
To be a dark monster, draw two cards. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. And it's a normal trap. Are we just going to fill our deck with draw cards? No, oh, screw it. Why not? Also got to adjust the score. Keep forgetting to do that. Oops. Also, we need to edit our deck. Wait, we gotta back out, because we bought something at the start. We gotta equip it. Change accessories. As much as I like the uh, music on this field, we bought this. We're gonna use it. Alright, now we'll add in these cards. Machina Air Raider would probably be good in our machine deck, because it does use some Machina cards. And it's Tribute a Dark Monster. How much fur hires do we have right now? Not many. What about Melpy? Four, but still not much. Two Rabbies, and what about Magic Key? Very, very little. Again, I like playing stuff I'm used to, but a lot of the times it's not that... It doesn't do that well. We may take out IAS, because it is a light attribute. Unfortunately, we have cards from the starter decks, but we are not allowed to use them. Fusions do we have to work with? Despia with a light or dark monster. Hmm. Despia. We've got two Aluber, Despenian, Despian Proskinian, and Masquerade, and Ad Libitum. What about Branded? Yes, I saw your message. The stream is lagging and can't get to wait free. Can't wait to get free shit on Tuesday. Now, what exactly do you mean free shit on Tuesday? Apophis. Apophysis. Apotheosis. We could make a fusion variant. You're holding a campaign to celebrate Master Duel being out for a thousand days, which be on Tuesday. Ah. I see. Now, what do we get for this campaign, exactly? Because we also have to decide what we're going to be streaming for tomorrow, which I totally forgot about Gundam Breaker 4. We could probably throw that on the roulette wheel. They're holding a campaign being out a thousand days, which would be on Tuesday. This. Uh, links don't get sent, I'm afraid. They don't go through. Bit of a shame, but that's just the way it works. I mean, if you just tell me we get a lot of loot, then what the pan campaign will give, nobody knows. Well, I guess we're going to have to log in and find out, won't we? Alright, we got a new big boss. My face covering it up a little bit. Let's, uh... Let's edit this for a little while. Or, you know, I think it's fine.
Zoom gems and tickets for the latest packs since that's what they usually do, or maybe a special bundle for a unique dual field. Well, the unique dual field is what we're currently using right now. Well, the one that just came out a few days ago. I'm in Lamia. Dimensional Shifter. And Max C. So they get to draw. And any card sent to the grave are banished instead. Activate our Ogduotic Origin. I mean, that does make sense that they would give us gems for a special pack or something. Set our Drummerilla in the Pendulum Scale. And our two face downs. I like how the giant eye looks, if you can even see it behind my fat head. You probably can't, but... Oh, you son of a bitch! Wow, what are the odds? And even more, what are the odds? Yeah, this is probably a game over. Because Cash Tira has not... The problem is they've limited a lot of the Cash Tira cards. Except for Rise Heart, Dangra Era, uh, Rise Hearts, which for an Xyz only needs one Cash Tira monster. Even a level 4 will work. But Fenrir is limited. Ogre is unlimited. And Unicorn is semi limited. Scareclaw, unlimited. And Cat Tier Lament, limited. No, we were going turn one. We couldn't have attacked. No, we could have. You're right. I thought we were turn one. Oh well. I don't think it uh, would have made a difference. Because it's Cash Tira, and Cash Tira is a scum deck, I'm afraid. Yep. Needs a rank 4, can go into a rank 7 for zero reason other than plot. And Konami still believes that limiting some of the cards will actually balance it when we've all proven it will not. They're basically a combination of Banish Everything combined with Ojama Lockdown. And then they splashed in Runic on top of it, so it's just you don't get to have a deck. Or play the game. Which I would love to see. The only problem to fix problematic decks like this is to ban the cards entirely, because limiting them does not do anything. They follow the TCG ban list. Ban Barone, Borlord Savage, Maxi. Well, that's the thing, because Maxi just got semi-limited in the OCG, which means it may, that change may come to here. Unfortunately, since Master Duel uses a combination of TCG and OCG ban lists, that's where Master Duel gets a lot of hate. And people are saying, now with the new, uh, it's like a new Maxi uh, Perelami or something, it's like that card that's going for like 100 to 200 bucks a piece for a secret or ultra rare. And it's like, is this the new Max C? And I'm like, is it going to be banned in an instant? We'd like to hope so. Again, Master Duel is a bit of a shit show because the meta has gone to crap again because Konami keeps making these new busted overloaded archetypes that have way more support than they should ever have. I mean, just look at all this. This is Cash Tira in its purest form. Like, limited and semi-limited doesn't make a difference if you can search the cards that are that way. Unlimit Poplar and Ash. Okay, the issue with Poplar and Ash is that it's Snake Eyes. And Snake Eyes was the whole poster child of the Season of Fire, hence why we have this... Dual Arena here. 
because it had great synergy, search power, and recursion. So you could easily search out the archetype. You can't really do anything against them. Because there's no mirror version of... There's no fire attribute version of the light and darkness mirrors. Like, there's no way to shut down the fire attribute. Like you can for light, dark, dragon types. Anything other than synchros. There's not really a way to stop them. Because even if you remove them from the field with back row removal, they'll just come back. They had to ban Link Karibo because of how powerful it was, which honestly I didn't see much of a difference. Because Link Karibo didn't really do much. Again, they need to ban the cards, not limit them. Because back when we had the Limit 1 event, people were still popping off like crazy with combos because they could search out that one card they needed. And then the Xyz event we had recently, which failed horribly because they allowed Flawanderies to still exist. Ashtira was allowed. Again, limiting the cards doesn't make a difference. But they don't learn. Alright, we're going to start with our standard combo. Kage to Kage. I mean, people can play what they want to play, but you're still going to get dirty looks. That's just the way it is. Lambers just gets them so much extension and recursion, plus... The upcoming Azamina stuff would make the as I haven't looked into the Azamina stuff because I have just thrown any Snake Eyes stuff out the window. Like that entire storyline of cards, I have just chucked into the bin. All right, let's see what they're playing. Ash Blossom. Nope, Dimension Shifter. And Imperm. Well, this does mean they're getting less cards. Spiritual Beasts? With Arch Nemesis. Oh yeah, Spiritual Beast got a new card. If this is banned, you should expect summon a Ritual Beast from your deck. Okay, I think we may have screwed the pooch here. Because now with our Aguska, practically useless. By banishing the above cards. So they basically wanted their cards banished either way. I don't think we're going to win this, just because, A, nobody has practically used Ritual Beasts until now. It's amazing how they get one Link 4 and then the, everybody starts breaking them out of the woodworks. It's like, where were y'all until now? Also, I strongly feel we need a Masochist mode to replace Solo mode. That way it gives us Masochist players an actual place to duel without losing to the meta every other day, like every two matches or so. Because solo mode does nothing for the game. Like it's ultimately useless. You don't get mission progress for it. You're still fighting the same meta stuff over and over. So it's just not good. I'd love to see a Masochist tournament to where you give... You get a bunch of players in a big tournament setting on Master Duel. They each go into the shop and buy six Master Packs, and that's their deck. Like, they can't make any changes, just the contents of those six packs. That's it. I'd like to see that one day. But it's possibly not going to happen. Because a lot of people are kind of hit or miss. 
is really powerful. Like, they're getting a pretty good super poly target with zero attack and 4,000 defense. Makes it so they can't target it. Cards they control or any cards they graveyard with card effects. Yeah, see, that's a little too much. I'm gonna write that off as overloaded. A level 6 or higher fusion and a level 6 or higher synchro. Yeah, I'm gonna call write that off as overloaded. Because it's a super poly target, which means your opponent can't interact with negating it unless they have a anti-fusion air a non-fusion area face up, so they can't fusion summon. It has 4,000 defense. It cannot be targeted, and other cards they control cannot in their graveyard. Their banishment or graveyard with card effects. So it offers protection as well. This player is taking forever. And makes your opponent take any battle damage you take instead. I'm sorry, I'm writing that off as overloaded. Extremely overloaded. Like, this is the problem because power creep is a big problem. Pokemon has only had maybe six cards hit a ban list over the years. But Yu-Gi-Oh! has had so many changes, it's ridiculous. Hell, I once fought a person using 14 different archetypes. In one deck, just to build a 20, a 21,000 plus attack damage Fiber's Clock Dragon. I mean, hard leg game. Hard leg gaming has Flamberge and a Sinful Spoils spell. He's got two cards of that archetype, and they've worked very well for him. You may try building a fiend deck, or making a fusion-based deck with the branded stuff. Yeah, I'ma just forfeit here because we didn't really get to do much. It's a shame, but that's just how it happens. I'm sorry, you've got me confused about how Konami thinks the Azamina card listed is fair. Yeah, they don't know how to balance their own game and it really shows. Yes, because all they care about at the end of the day is profits. Nintendo's the same way. I mean, I stated in previous streams, Nintendo, if you want to make money, you're sitting on a three... Like, we know that, uh, what was it, Super Mario RPG came out when that was, the remake was announced. Everybody who was streaming it on the reveals on Twitch, the chat lost their freaking minds. They, they went feral. And I still want to play that game. Everybody lost their minds at the process, at the idea of the remake of Super Mario RPG, which has not seen the light of day up until then, since the 64. Which is actually really freaking good. Played the same, gameplay was the same, and it was incredibly good. Yeah, money. You gotta get that. Money! And that's all it is. Which is why I like supporting indie games more, because they actually, you know, make a good game. I mean, look at Ubisoft. Look what happened to them. And it's like $70 games are now the norm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stick to indie games. Oh, here's another overloaded archetype. Yeah, you can't beat Centurion. I'm gonna just activate this now. Because unfortunately, Centurion really needs to make sure you have zero interaction because their field spell lets them synchro summon if a monster is special summoned. Doesn't specify who summons it, just if a monster is special summoned, you can immediately synchro summon. Which they immediately use to go into. What? What? Oh, they negated it. Yeah, and they've got Horus, too, which... Wow, we've got scumbag on scumbag here. Horus needs to be eroded. 
Like, their sarcophagus? Yeah, I already know I'm gonna lose this. That sarcophagus card needs to be eroded to be a once or twice per turn effect, not four times. Because that is bro brain dead. And again, infinite recursion. Only way to stop them is if you pull Dimension Shifter. That's the only way you can beat Horus. A second Flamberge, except it's a fusion. Yeah, I think it's time Konami shoves it up their ass. Like, dare I say, I'm not invoking this. Somebody go do- like, unfortunately there was an incident with, uh, Konami devs getting shot at. They're asking for it. They are literally asking for it to happen again. Okay, Moody, the issue is, Konami doesn't balance anything worth a damn. How do I put this without coming off as super offensive? Spoilers, you can't. Especially if you're me. The issue is... Alright, here's the problem. In the past, there was an archetype based around the Chinese Zodiac. Called... Or Chinese Zodiac. Chinese Zodiac. What a crap. The Chinese Zodiac. They were called Zodiac. They were basically beast warriors... And they were incredibly splashable. You could put them into almost any deck you could think of at the time. Oh, we got the Rota. Overworked, bottomless trap hole. Element Sabers? Huh. The problem was, since it was so splat, you could throw them into so many different decks. The top 16 to 32 players at that World Championships were running Zodiacs. And it got so bad that Konami decided to not only ban the cards in the OCG and TCG, but also made it to where if you were actually playing... Excuse me. Cannot be destroyed and cannot be targeted. Well, that's a problem. I think we may have lost this due to bad luck. Again... Trickstar Reincarnation, it's a powerful card, but it can be a bit of a hit or miss. Cannot target it with card effects. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, so it's double cannot be destroyed by card effects. Cannot be targeted. Cannot be targeted. Do we have any non-targeting removal? The issue is that Konami decided if anybody in a Japanese car in Japan, if you were walked into a your locals for a tournament or something or an event, if you were playing Zodiac, the owners had the right to throw you out. That's how bad it was. Ashtira is Zodiac 2.0. The problem is also that special summon sending two monsters from your back row to the grave and summon it. That's a monster. Yes. That's the problem with Flamberge, which hard leg gaming he has in his masochist deck, because he pulled it and I think it was a royal. So he that's his boss monster. Because he also got the rare level card that is a it's the Sinful Spoils. It's one of their spell cards that basically does what their archetype does. Albeit a bit better. Can't be targeted. 800 attack. I'll be, leave it at 26. Target. The problem here is that we can't target. So we may have to go with Baguska. That is true. Well, unfortunately, we can't because the stats are the same. I 
and we can't use our reptilian ramification because we can't target it, so we would be targeting the Guska instead. Now, if we drew our Kaiju, we'd be fine. Because then we could use Reptilian and then beat over the monster. But unfortunately, we gotta rely on luck. Now, we've got two other Kaijus not in our deck, but unfortunately, they're way more powerful. Like, Jizukiru and Thunder King, the Ghidorah Kaiju, which is not good. We actually had to use the, uh, no, wait. Was it the Thunder one? No, wait, we started using, I think, the Thunder one because we had it. Oh, we would love if Baguska had 2,500. We would love that. Nope. I don't know why people don't read that. They, they never read it. They think that it just, I'll switch it back, but no. They think not, since this is non-targeting, it doesn't, it still affects you. I mean, heck, the whole joke of Yu-Gi-Oh! players not being able to read their cards was so bad. Like, during COVID... Oh, uh, here's another issue with Master Duel. It says here, you can activate this, but would you like to activate Baguska's effect to discard one? No. But it does it anyway. So the question stands, why bother asking? If you're just going to do it anyway. That's what I don't like. But guys, come on. We can't beat over it because we don't have any battle We can't overpower its defense. And we don't know what that back row is. I mean, it would be nice if Paguska had 2,500 attack. I would love that. But unfortunately, it's mostly a defensive play. The fact that they pulled... Another issue is that uh, they also think that, oh, I can still activate my effects because I summoned them in attack, not defense. Link monsters can. Link monsters are immune because they physically cannot be put into defense mode. Is immortal royalty or supernatural elements good to pull on... And pull, or do I pull Master Packs? Immortal Royalty or Supernatural Elements? I have no clue what that means, but now you're pulling great terms that we don't know. Immortal Royalty. It's me. Or I thought you might have stuff you want. I know, but it's just don't give the chance to deny it. It's just a a little nitpick about the card. I don't know. Moody, I'm not sure what you mean. Good to pull on 10 pull, or do I pull 10 master packs? Oh, the booster pack names. The pack names. It's ultimately up to you. If you get 10 master packs for a thousand gems. Okay. We'll take that. They probably could have done something, but we'll take that. Another reason why you shouldn't surrender, sometimes. Wasteland and Mega Thunderball. Not the best. Would have liked some Legacy Packs. Um, let's let's check the shop. I guess it depends on what you want what you want to pull. Because Master Packs can give you god knows what. Immortal Royalty. If you're building a zombie deck, then Immortal Royalty isn't a bad set to use. If you're building Vampires or Eldlich, it's not bad. Uh, let's see, Supernatural Elements. At the, uh... It's ultimately up to you, it's your call. Master Packs can give you God knows what. If you're a Masochist player, you have to use Master Packs. If you're a Masochist player, yeah. Like Apothesis says, it it's up to you what you want to build. It all comes down to your personal preference and your choice. Like, we'll use a Master Pack to show you. 
Use our one win master pack. Because you can get god knows what. Like, noble arm, noble knights, generators, successor soul, gathering light, which is power tool dragon related, I think, super heavy samurai, elemental hero dark neos, still a cool monster, but pretty bad. Fossil Excavation, and Quill of Gildos. You have never heard of Zombie. This was a horrible master pack, I'm going to say that, but... I mean, I've used a uh, archetype. I've used a zombie archetype in the past. Like, is a physical deck. And when I say I spent a lot of money, I probably bought... 70 booster packs to try and pull the cover card. Not my smartest decision in the world. But still not my worst. Uh we got a reptile deck, cybers, fiend, plants, dragon, and the perform mages, performer pals, warriors of light, machine, uh, an equip deck revolving around power tool dragon, because for some reason we've pulled two power tool dragons. <laughs> Dinosaur, Rank 4 Earth Warrior, Earth, Earth Warrior, Beast, Water, Fusion. Zombies aren't terrible, but let me see if I can find them. Like, the zombie archetype, because I started... Would you believe me to watch a replay I saved the other day? I had a match in a room I'm very proud of, even though the opponent misplayed a lot. Uh, you know what? Sure. Uh, no, I do not have a Discord, I'm afraid. I just don't see the appeal, having to manage everything... Like, I'm having to manage a YouTube channel and a Twitch stream channel, and I'm like, I... Uh, you could probably just tell me. Like, I'm not gonna have a clue as to what, but if you could probably... You can just tell us right here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with telling us. Showing, it's like show and tell. Show the tell the class what you have, what you pulled. Still looking up. Ah yes. Like this is an archetype that I love. The Mayakashis, because they're I love my Japanese mythology or mythology in general, and that these are based off of Japanese yokai. I was a hu I was very excited about them, and they are very stubborn. Which, when I first pulled Yuki Ona here, the Link Two, I didn't even know she was in the pack. Okay, that's the replay. Here we go. But this was the cover card. Yoko, the Graceful Mayakashi. You got two URs. Oh, what are they? Hope they're good ones. Because I've been screwed by URs more times than I'd like to count. Though the pack, um, can't remember the pack name. Spirit Wanderers or something? Because it was a pack involving Mayakashis, Nephthys, and Prank Kids. I didn't really care about the other two archetypes, I just wanted the Mayakashis because they're Japanese. Yokai, and it's a nine-tailed fox. Come on. But I bought 70 packs over time, and I never pulled Yoko once. My brother got a copy, and I had to trade him some really good stuff for that. But I still love my Mayakashis. Especially Yuki Ona. And Daki, oh my god. Like, Mayakashi Mill is still a cheesy strategy I love to pull now and then. My brother banned me from using it against him. Because, a little story time here. I could never beat my brother, my older brother, at this game for years. But then, I found a structure deck. Yes, yes, that's it, that is it. Your opponent played... Shotguns out the Mac. They quick. They don't shotgun it. They shotgun quick draw it. They think you're just playing regular zombies. No, you're playing Maxi, and then they just say, "Well, shit." 
it was this. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. The original Red Eye Zombie deck after Vampire Genesis. Zombie World Structure deck. I bought that deck and used it on my brother. He could not beat it. And that's when I started liking the zombie type mods. Like Red Eye Zombie Dragon. And then they rebuilt it with the release of Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. They gave it a retrain. Well, okay, technically, not exactly. It was Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon. Oh, you pull! I just noticed. Rainbow Over Dragon and Super Viacroid Stealth Union. You got the GX Legends right there. Rainbow Over Dragon. Ah, yes. The Crystal Beast Structure Deck Boss. But let's make this thing look even more angelic, even though you can't really see the, uh... You can't see the gems on it. They're, like, inside it now. Not as prominent. It's actually a good card if you're running Crystal Beasts, which the game loves giving us for some reason. And... Stealth Union. That's not a Stealth Union. Stealth Roid. Is a fusion. That's mobile base. Super Viacroid Stealth Union. Cyrus's boss monster. Truckroid, Expressroid, Drillroid, and Stealthroid. Unfortunately, the Viacroids, as they're called, a lot of people don't like them. Some of them are actually not bad in the right circumstances. I mean, if they're Earth machines, you could probably do some funky stuff. Stuff. Yeah, if they're all Earth Machines, you could probably do some crazy stuff with uh, Machinas. Well, they're not. Unfortunately, the Viacroids are also matched with Speedroids. Always remember, if it can search a Roid monster, you can search Speedroids. But I'd say those are some pretty good pulls. You could even search the ugly-ass Dark Geroid if you want. Like, just be a wild card. But all in all, you got some good pulls. It's not the worst. Wait, let's let's see the worst. Try and figure out the worst ultra rare we've ever pulled. Naruto, the moral leader. Um, I would say Naruto. Two level six spellcasters. Um, if you don't feel well. Uh, if you want to activate spell trap, you can attach it to it and negate. Okay, it's a generic negate, which is good. Make more structure decks. There's a lot of good ones that could do like a crystal beast structure deck. They already did do a crystal beast structure deck in the past, which is why we got another rainbow dragon. Because we had the original rainbow dragon, the classic design. And then they made a dark counterpart with the advanced crystal beasts. Then we got Malefic, which didn't go anywhere. And then they made crystal beast. Ow, that just scared the crap out of me. Zodiac Weezak. Weezo. Hope your Morito is going well. My Morito. I take it that's more masochist. Morito or masochist. 24 hours to get as many gems as you can. I'd say hit the grind, put the nose to the grind set. Grab your axe and start get her grinding. Like, cause trust me, I the last time we streamed this or the one before, we got a. You can get god cards. Well, you wanted to build a god deck. There you go. But thanks for the follow, Zodiac Weezo. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. No, the issue I had is that we got. Rainbow Over Dragon with the starter deck, but then they made Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive of Chaos and Destruction. But let's just put of Chaos at the end of everything just to make it more badass. They gave, they made Rainbow Over Dragon in a set, but then when they released the deck, they gave it another re another retrain specifically for the structure deck. 
I think I skipped on that structure deck. And then they released the Advanced Crystal Beast. I can't spell. They made the Advanced Crystal Beast, which are like the evil versions from the anime, which specifically work with Rainbow Dark Dragon. I think. Okay, so you said... Now, Norito... Now, you asked about Norito. Having a generic spell negate isn't bad. Make Redstone, Resonator, Archfiend. If you can make a Redstone Resonator, or a Resonator Archfiend, go for it. You got Thither and Right Leg Exodia. Eh, that's not bad. I mean, I think Exodia is a secret rare or ultra rare. Like, all the normal, the four normal monsters are actually... Uh... Yes, they do have a Resonator Arch Red Dragon Archfiend deck, IRL. They do have one. It's not bad. I'm not that great with it. But honestly, people bought the Egyptian the two Egyptian god decks that are IRL for Wiper and Obelisk. They're not bad, but people just bought them for a copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. Just like when the Soul Burner deck came out, people bought three copies of them. Just to have three Ash Blossom. It was a bit scummy because nobody could get them. But I was competitive. Now you do have the Chaos Exceeds variation. Simon the Great Moral Leader. It goes from Norito to Simon. Not sure why he changed the name. And it's as a 3k attacker, he's not bad. But, and unaffected by monster, other monster effects. But unfortunately, he loses his back row negation. So, uh, Moody, I'm not certain. I don't know. You could maybe find a way to get... Now, you're saying you pulled Norito in the Master Pack, right? You said you pulled it in a Master Pack. Means we need level 6 Spellcasters. Which, there are a fair amount. But you'd want ones that are nearly the same problem as the other cards. Good card, but no deck for it. Yes, that is true. Or Wicked Gods for it. That is also true. The Wicked Avatar. The Wicked Gods. I mean, I don't know why they made them for the manga when they already had the Sacred Beasts. But let's just do it again. But... With a fresh coat of paint. There aren't that many level 6 spellcasters. And finding synergy with them is even harder. I mean, Prophecy Destroyer here looks like something out of Magic the Gathering, but... Now, there is a way you could use it. While ignoring spellcasters entirely. Through the use of Rank Up Magic Astral Force... You could actually summon it using a rank 4 spellcaster. Which. Norit. Norit TP. He's a level 6. He's a light spellcaster. So we would need a Xyz. Light spellcaster. Rank 4. Which means you could use Spiral Masquerade. Perform Mage Trapeze Magician, which Perform Mages are getting, they just got new support, which you would probably have to build a Spellcaster deck. There's also Riliona, the Wondrous Magistus Mitch. Wondrous Magistus Witch Wardrobe. Holy crap, try and say that five times fast. Uh, Teller Knight, and Stellar Caduceus. Caduceus, yeah. Or Magician of Hope, which is literally Pendulum Utopia. Like, it took me for, it took me a while to notice it, but it is pen, it is Utopia as a Pendulum monster and a spellcaster, to be precise. Even having the same effect or similar, I guess. No. 
Yeah, his utopia effect is as a pendulum. Pendulum effect. So it's not impossible to summon Norito. And he's got. What's his stats? For a 2700 attacker, he's not terrible. But you may have to build a spellcaster focused deck. Utilizing a rank 4 engine. So it's not impossible, you just gotta figure out a way to do it. But you've got all the pieces at your disposal. It's up to you to figure out how you want the deck to play. Alright, now, uh, let's see that ID. Alright, where do we go to see Let's Plays? Uh... I think this is it. Should be the top one versus I am Jeffrey. Apothesis. Is this the correct duel? Would Black ma black Magician and Magician Girl deck work? <coughs> I believe there are other Magician Girls. Like the ones that are named after fruits like Berry, Lime, Apple, Berry, and Kiwi. I mean, you could make Black Medicine. That could be an archetype in the future. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Dark Magician Girl in a, in a uh, nurse outfit? Who wouldn't want to see that, am I right? Damn you, internet! Alright. Let's take a look. Now, you could, you could try the other Dark Magician Girls. Or maybe the Charmers. Like, they're spellcasters. Which could also be used in tandem with uh, Rivalry of Warlords, I think. Or one of those back row cards. Or floodgates. Spin Droplet, Kashtira, Scareclaws. Oh, it's a Scareclaw player. You don't see many of them. Rolling Lockbird, alright. Speedroid Engine. All by Grave. This actor. Nope, that's Goblin Biker. I haven't seen Goblin Bikers before. I haven't seen them yet. I mean, the streamer we support, we play, we w did, but unfortunately due to her due to scheduling issues, I'm not able to play with duel against her very often on Wednesdays when she does viewer duels. I played against her because she's a Dark Magician main. I broke out the magic keys and she didn't know what was going on because she'd never seen them before. Because I feel like I keep picking archetypes that never get played. Like I like di I like the Dino Wrestlers. I prefer Dino Wrestlers to Goki, but that's just me. All right, we're gonna hit that with the Imperm. Good idea. Aerotop. Droplet. A water bit and droplets. I think Simo got screwed over two or three times by the same player with that card. Goblin Biker. Art of the lore with, uh, Diabell Star. Rank three. Big Gabunga. And with the spell, the effect negation on that, alright, and steal an opponent's monster. Now, I have no clue what goblin bikers do, but I'm pretty sure they're designed to piss off the opponent. Ooh, that's rough. This is finally as a monster searcher. Shame it'll still suck ass and they only do one thing, but I love my just 
They're an interesting archetype, to say the least. I do like that they use all, like, three different extra deck mechanics to summon. Xyz engine. Which we have the Xyz torpedo armor, but we don't really use it that much anymore. Rank up again into rank 6. Nope, oh, rank 7. Full armor Dark Knight. Yeah, if you see the uh, torpedo armor, that's generically where the direction is going to go. I mean, Magistus were an interesting archetype. The lore wise around them, they do combine Astroud. Astroud. Oof. That's not good. Get ashed. They're using the Scar Scareclaw Duel Mate. Big Bam. And a Phantom Blade. You have fun. Gotta go eat and pray. You have fun and everyone. Well, thank you. We hope you have a good day as well. A good rest of the day. Hope we made your day a little better. But I would say keep up the uh, idea of the um, Magician deck. You can make Norito work. You just gotta figure out what you want to do. I would suggest... I would still recommend a rank 4 Spellcaster deck that can search uh, rank up magic. It should work. But I hope you have a good one. Thanks for coming out today. It means a lot. We got a lot of bike. We got the biker gang. And they're fiends, aren't they? Igabunga is back. Oh, they're warriors, by the looks. Okay, one's a fiend. So they just steal... The boss monster just steals your monster. Let me take a look here. You can add a goblin monster from deck to hand. So that's any goblin monster. Materials attached from the field. You can target face-up monster on the field. Accept this card attached to this. That's devious. You can attach a goblin biker. Deck. Deck to this card. What's this new one do? Oh, look at him! He's on a... They're on a tortoise! Ain't gonna go very fast, but god, they're doing it in stop. All three or more materials are attached. Monsters on the field. Goblin monsters you can... Oh, you can attack directly. Ooh, that's dangerous. You can attach material and negate the attack. That is devious. I've never seen goblin bikers. Oh, Gossip Shadow. I got one guess. They're like a not-crap version of Springins. Just X... Blood the board with Xyz monsters and then hit them in the face really hard. Oh, so close. 300. Activate trap. Ah, I see. Oh, that's just dirty. That's salt in the wound. To piss off the opponent, given in lore. They're just kind of dumbass trolls. Okay, well, come on. You gotta be a dumbass troll to have some fun, you know? I mean, I feel like that's the direction the game is going these days, is having... But not bad. Not bad at all. Bravo! But if that's what they do, then I'm terrified of fighting them. But that, that Zeus, that was salt in the wound. I'm sorry. That, that was salt. Like, that's just for flair. From either field? Wait, they can detach from either field? If they can detach from either field, run them in the Xyz event. You'll piss off a lot of people. Like, I'm gonna detach material. No, I will detach your material and you can't do crap about it. Like, that sound, that feels just devious. Yeah, true! Like, you just had an oh shit the bed moment, like, oh my god, he's got a point! I gotta piss off so many more people! And we won't care. <laughs> like, the opponent's raging their head off, but we don't care. Let them rage. Okay, I think... This might be best to go into Baguska. 
didn't have a target to go into there other than Zeus. I mean, come on. You had the chance. You had to do it. But you can't not go into Zeus, you know? I mean, if you threw out the Zeus and then the Typhon, then it's just like... They detach from either field, so they utterly fuck up Pirelli and Galaxy Eyes. That is true. That is true. I mean, Baguska can also do it. Back row. I would love... I would honestly love to see Lightning Storm get limited to one, because it is both Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster in one card. I would love to see that happen, but it probably won't. And there's the Imperm. I would also love to see Imperm get limited. But that won't happen. Sword Soul. Yeah, we're dead. Just the way it is. Wait, did we? I gotta look at my match history for a sec. Because doing all that deck building... Okay, yeah, we gotta reset that. So that's now one, and that is one, and that should be at seven. Okay. As a Madolce player, I tried Madolce in the past, because I think it was last year before I started this challenge, I tried building decks around a theme of the month, like, I tried Ghost Trick for Halloween, for October. I couldn't fully grasp it. And then November, because November, you eat a bunch of sweets and desserts, because I bake a lot of stuff. IRL. My co-workers, and I've got to decide what I'm doing for Halloween for them this year. Uh, get out. Target two monster bone controls or something from the extra deck. Shuffle them into the deck. Uh, we're gonna set this. Set this. I think I've fought this player before. <laughs> I think they're a Cyber Dragon player. I tried Madol- no, I tried Madolce, and I couldn't grasp it. I couldn't figure out what their game plan was, because I've used Cyber Dragons, I've played Gaia Knight first, which I'm so happy, though their new cards aren't in Master Duel yet. That is a bit of a downside. Just a slight downside. I mean, technically, I think the new set added a new card to Master Duel. Which wasn't really in the original. It's not in the TCG yet. Oh my god, internet, why the fuck you do that? Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. But I think that may be a good place to call it because my internet's being a dick. Yeah, Ripstream. It was a Dark Magician player. I don't think we were going to win. Yeah, because I had to reset my internet. The issue is that Twitch is... It, I feel Twitch is a bit more demanding than just YouTube streaming. I get the feeling that's the case, but I could be I could be very wrong. Which is why I'm also try I'm I want to stream to both Twitch and YouTube simultaneously, but the need would for better bandwidth would be even higher. Also I was wrong. That person was not a Cyber Dragon player, they were a Dark Magician player.
Unfortunately, when I post this stuff on YouTube, I don't know if we can actually... We haven't actually... I may not even post this on YouTube. Because it feels like clickbaiting. Want to know something funny? Oh, you gotta leave? You gotta leave Zodiac? Weezu? Well, we hope you have a good one. Thanks for the follow if you gotta leave. Totally understandable. Stuff happens. Hope you have a good one. They can't attack. I also like how they're the plan of Cyber Dragon originally. They used their whole strategy was to use. Uh, yeah, this person is a Cyber Dragon player. I like how they relied on going for big damage with or negates with Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon. Well, there would be a Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, but Goblin Biker Troika Graure attack directly. Yeah, I read that. Let's the entire field attack directly. Oh, you thought I was leaving? No, we gotta end the stream with a... I'd like to end it on a win, preferably, instead of a disconnect. There's a Cyber End Dragon. Which means they're going to take 8,000 damage. Nope, just 4,000. Do we have any ways to out this? Yes, we do. Oh, I'm not gonna like it. Oh, thank you for activating that so soon. So in order to summon their really big boss, they need a Cyberdark Fusion Monster equipped. So let's banish Cyberdark Chimera. Doesn't need three materials on my field, just needs three materials to be on either field. Oh, that is devious. That's evil. Yeah, throw them into the uh, Xyz event. See what happens. See how many people you can enrage. Activate effect. Banish that. Target you. Go to battle phase. And have a tiny little lizard beat a cyber end dragon. Doesn't that just piss you off? I'm laughing. <laughs> That's funny. They definitely had a better going second strategy. Now they've got nothing in hand. Come on. Okay, they're going for Cyber Dragon.
from deck to hand, it's probably going to be another four. Yep. Means they'll probably go for attacking. I mean, technically, I would have gone for uh, Zwei. Why or is it Veer? Which one is it? No, it's Dry. Dry. Because then they could have gone into Infinite, into Nova, and then into Infinity. And beyond! Activate. Hajime. I don't know if that's the right word, but I don't care. Bring back our ball drake. Actually use it. Relay happens. They don't attack. Now with another reptile in the grave, we have access to Niami. Siegler. Seeger. about to end turn. Use Nyami's effect now. To allow us to special summon her on our turn. Since she's a once per turn for her effects are once per turn, one effect per turn. I'm in Nyami in defense mode. Activate our Suchinoko. Perfect. That's exactly the exa that's the exact card I wanted to get rid of, and they gave up. I don't think most lists play dry anymore, admittedly. Well, you never know. It's got a good attack stat, and it allows you to go into Nova, and then into Infinity. And beyond! So, it's not a terrible idea, but it is an option. Because Infinity is still a good card. But I don't think it ever fell out of power. Hence why they made a dual mate for it. Alright, how close are we to getting the wolf, the doggo? We are a far ways away. But we got a level up. Which gets us nothing. <laughs> gets us literally 50 gems and that's it. But we got a, hopefully, a legacy pack. To end on. I'm just annoyed that this entire stream I can't patch the three together. Okay, this is Orbo Yasaka. That's terrible. Child's play. Each time your opponent summons a monster, gain 300 life points. Your opponent, your monsters can't be destroyed by battle when you have a 10,000 or more. Jesus, put this with Arrow Mage. Wait, that's going to be dangerous. Alright, one Master Pack. Oh, can we end on a UR? Can we end on a good UR? Okay, two SRs. Not really great, but... Litmus Doom Ritual, not good. Heavy Interlock. Oral Load Riot Dragon, which we don't have. Sylvan. Dimension Wanderer Galaxy Eyes Support, which we don't have. Wow. Cyber Dragon Nova. Another one. Ice Barrier. Alright, SR. Michael the Arc Light Swarm. It's a level 7 dragon. A thousand life points target one card on the field and banish it. Okay, it the targets banishment, it targets, which is not the best. And it needs a light tuner. Or non-tuner light, which we have. Then the top three cards of the deck to the grave. I did have the idea of combining light sworn with teller knights, since they're both light attribute, but I'm not certain. And what's the other? Ah! The 
sucked on my nuts! I don't even know if we can play this. This is probably one of the worst URs we could get. Wait, that, that hurts. This hurts. It actually freaking hurts. Mm. Yeah, there's the Nova and there's the Wrath of my... The Wrath of my ass. Oh, God. Mm. It's like, game, how could you give me in the past two Power Tool Dragons and two Flame King High, Flame High King Genghises, and then you give me Zephrath. Zephra ass. You can add a Zephra Pendulum from deck to your extra deck face up. I don't even know what Zephra does. Other than be part of dual terminal crazy shit. Oh my god. Alright, let's uh, set up a roulette wheel here. Oops. Not do that. Alright, let's see. What are we streaming? Give me a second to type this in. Jack, uh, or all right. So it's the end of the stream, and we now have a new. We are going to. Hang on. All right, here we go. We got our roulette wheel for what we're streaming tomorrow. And let's take a look. Zephyr makes a lot of counter traps. Well, that'd be great if we had fairy monsters. We got Cavern of Dreams, Pumpkin Jack, Gundam Breaker 4, and Koromon. What's going to win? Okay, Cavern of Dreams. All right. So with that being said... Tomorrow we'll be streaming Cavern of Dreams, and with that, it is time to end. Thanks so much to everybody for coming out today, all the support, all the follows, that scared the shit out of me. I'm glad we got that Lubellion, I'm really glad we got that. I may try and do a, we'll be doing more Master Duel Masochist on Monday, we'll be doing uh, Wednesday, we were starting something new. No response from the game server. Well, why not? Konami, mean, how have you not fixed that? Like, honestly, how have you not fixed that? But we... And Thursday, we are doing Chrono Trigger over on our YouTube channel. So for anybody who likes what they saw here today, we also have all of our old live streams posted on our YouTube channel, in case you missed them, as well as here on Twitch. Let's... Who, is, who are we going to raid? Trying to find somebody to raid here. That preferably speaks English. Oh, we got somebody saying that they're going to hate on Tenpai. This ought to be a ton of laughs. But yeah. I've been Toaster Gorgie Gaming. Thanks to Moody, Silent Apothesis, and Zodiac for coming out today. Watching the stream. And to everybody else, I will see y'all in the next time. We are going to give Master Duel Central a raid. I don't know these people, but whatever. They're beating up Tenpai, and there is nothing wrong with that. No, wait, they're playing Tenpai. Never mind. We are anti-tenpai. I want that on a shirt. Uh, let's see.
sticking with the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Okay, we got a ranked ladder climber. Yeah, this person. Let's start the raid. Keep the Yu-Gi-Oh going. I'll see you all in the next time. Till then, 